Okay, so first of all, go to Shapes and select a circle. Then hold down Shift and click and drag to draw a circle. Then hold down Control and Shift and click and drag to make a copy of this circle. And make the two circles overlap. Then hold down Control to select the other circle, go to Merge Shapes and Intersect. Then we're going to format this shape. So change the fill to no fill and the line to a gray line and make the width really wide. Then select a rectangle and make a long thin rectangle. Change the fill to the same grey colour and remove the shape outline. Then press Ctrl and Shift and click and drag to make a copy of this rectangle. And this time change the shape fill to no fill. Then hold down Ctrl and select the other rectangle as well and press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Then line up these two shapes using the guides. Then press Ctrl D and keep pressing Ctrl D to make more lines. And now we have one, two, three, four, five, six grey rectangles and I'm going to delete the one at the top because I want a blank rectangle at the beginning and at the end. Then click and drag to select all of these rectangles and Control C to copy. Then select this shape again and we're going to change the fill to a picture fill and the picture source will be from the clipboard. And as we just copied all of these rectangles here, that is what is on the clipboard. Now we no longer need any of these shapes so we can delete them. Then take this shape and rotate it slightly sideways and I will make it a bit smaller and then put it in the bottom corner over here. Then press Ctrl D to duplicate this shape and drag it until it is slightly overlapping with the other shape and the two look as if they are connected. Then press Ctrl D again to add in more shapes. And we're going to keep doing this until we have eight shapes here. Then press Ctrl A to select everything and then Ctrl G to group them. Now we're going to add in an animation. So go to animations and then to motion paths and select lines. Then change the effect options to the left and then change this animation so that the last four shapes line up with the first four shapes. Then we'll open up the animation pane and change the effect options. So we don't want a smooth star or a smooth end and change the star to with previous then make the duration really slow. I'm going to put seven seconds and then repeat until end of slide and okay. Then go back to home and add in a title and the title will be deoxyribonucleic acid. Then I'll do some formatting to this. And then we'll go to arrange and align this to the middle. And then go to slideshow and from beginning. 
And now you'll see that the DNA moves. And because I set it to repeat until the end of the slide and the animation starts in the same place as where it ends, it will look like a continuous loop and it makes it look like it's an endless string. So in this video, I have shown you how to make and animate a DNA helix in PowerPoint. And that is everything.